I'm going to start the timer in just a second to demonstrate just how quickly you can start monitoring your ESX host with Logic Monitor. Here's how we do it. Your infrastructure sits on premise or at a data center or in the cloud or some combination of those behind a firewall. And this represents your virtual environment and here's the rest of your infrastructure. So what we do is have you install a lightweight Java-based data collector behind your firewall. It's just a Java application and one of our collectors can monitor literally hundreds of hosts via yeah, all of the main monitoring protocols, SNMP, JMX, WMI, Perfmon, etc. So the collector gathers and then sends your monitoring data via an outgoing only connection to your logic monitor portal in the cloud. Then you log in from anywhere to manage your monitoring from the cloud. All the collector needs is a Windows or a Linux box or a virtual machine to install it on and it doesn't have to be dedicated. I've remoted into one of our virtual machines here where I'll install the collector completely from scratch so let's start the timer and I'll leave it running even when I do edits for time's sake so you will see the actual install time at the end. We recommend Chrome for best experience. Your URL will be yourcompany.logicmonitor.com First time logins, just admin, admin. And we take you right into this setup wizard. You're prompted to create a login account the first time, after which admin, admin will be disabled. The next screen gives you the overview of our architecture that we already talked about. Click Next. You get some great information on requirements and resource consumption here that I do recommend reading. Click Next. Choose either Windows or Linux depending on which operating system you're installing onto. Now, it asks me if I want to monitor other Windows hosts. If I say yes, I will need credentials a little bit later for those hosts. Now, I'm just going to download the collector to this VM I'm logged on to. And once it's downloaded, I just run the installer. And now we're installing our Java-based collector on this virtual machine. Now, I'm just going to run this as a local system account for simplicity's sake. In reality, if I wanted to monitor other Windows machines, I'd want to enter a local or even better, a domain admin here. Finish the collector install, and now we take you back into the wizard. I'll choose default settings here, click next. I tick the collector is installed box and Logic Monitor is now verifying that the collector has been properly installed. It tells me everything looks good. I click finish. I put in the host name for my ESX host, click next, and I select the collector I want to use to talk to that device. Now what happens next seems like a little bit of magic, but it's actually one of the core differentiators and strengths of Logic Monitor. Our collector probes the device. It figures out what kind of device it is. Next. And now the collector asks for the username and password in order to access the monitoring data for that device. So it probes the device to authorize. Tells me everything looks good. I click submit and I'm done. Now I could stop the timer here but I'll go ahead and add one more ESX host. So just click OK. Add the host name for the next ESX host few more seconds and a few more clicks through here and I'm done so let's stop the timer less than five minutes and I'm monitoring two ESX hosts and it really is that simple now here's the next part of the collectors magic that I mentioned earlier we automatically monitor everything that should be monitored now these graphs are blank because we just started so I'm gonna cheat ahead 24 hours and look at this here's some real monitoring data and we'll get into more detail on what we monitor with ESX hosts in the next video but just to give you a quick glance you see we monitor everything from data stores to hardware health to interfaces to ESX host metrics like CPU, disk latency, disk operations, and a lot, lot more. A uh, quick example, here's a top 10 graph for CPU usage over all the VMs on this ESX host. And we have a lot of other useful top 10 graphs and a lot more. And we will give you a good overview of what we monitor on your ESX host in the next video. But the point here is five minutes and we're monitoring everything on two ESX hosts. That's part of the power of SAS-based monitoring with Logic Monitor.